Today, we are taking a look at how to set up your sales pipeline and your deal stages in your HubSpot portal. So I am inside HubSpot under sales and deals, and this is your deal board view. So to get started, if you want to customize what this pipeline looks like, you can go to the settings wheel or you can hit this board actions and I'm going to say edit stages. It's going to pop me over into the settings and you can see right here, I can customize this whole pipeline. I can rearrange my stages. I can add different stages down here. I can rename them. So to start, I'm just going to change this one. We're going to say uh, this is negotiating and we're going to say this perhaps is closing instead of meeting. The other thing you can do is update this deal probability. So this is how likely do we think a deal is to close once it reaches a certain stage. So if a deal is in negotiating, I'm going to say that's a 30% deal probability close. This is very important when it comes to forecasting metrics in HubSpot. Another thing you can do is set required properties at each stage. So when a deal moves to negotiating, I can say I want to make sure my team includes a close date at that time. I can also just say, you know, I'm going to put it there and hope they do it, but I can actually make that required as part of my steps. When you get to closed one here, for example, let's say we're going to make them include a closed one reason. It's another example. So the other thing we can do with our pipeline here is set up automation simply from this here. So if I go to this automate tab, I can add a simple workflow right here that says, you know, when our deal goes to close one, I'm going to notify the billing department. I'm going to notify the sales team. I'm going to notify our whole team. Um, you can make workflows right from this section that do something like that. You can also create an additional pipeline. So if I came in here, let's say I have two different business lines. I've got a whole different you know, line of, of my company. I can create a second pipeline very simply. We'll say second pipeline. And I can add all those same customized features to that. Another thing that's very important is being able to customize the view of the actual deal. So if I flip back over here quickly, you see this deal board that I have. We have our, you know, the name of the deal, the amount, and a close date included. If I come back here, I can actually customize what's that information that's going to show up in the board view. That's this one right here. I can also customize on the right-hand panel what's going to show up within my actual deal uh, view within a, you know, a contact record when I'm looking over at an associated deal. What shows up there? That's these right here. And then finally, what's going to be in my sidebar for the deal? You know, what's going to show up in my about panel? I can customize that right here. Thanks for watching. Please reach out with any questions.